Talus Magic Talk Show brought to you by Talus Master G C Food and Team Yet Dragon Talusum. Puriang Tenjon. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show. This is your G C Food right here. And today we're going to talk about a topic that is very interesting for those of you who are interested in ordaining later or now. Um, so this <laughs> uh, this is about the chosen one and the ch- unchosen one. And yeah, it sounds kind of uh, funny, right? Uh, how come you're chosen? Uh, are you actually chosen or are you choosing? A lot of people are like this. They want to ordain and then they're like, I'm deciding. I'm deciding if I have to, like, if I want to ordain or if I'm ready to commit. I'm still deciding. But you know what? The truth is you aren't actually deciding. Why? Why is that so? Well, because the gods, the, pre, the pre-heaven powers, the Tao, whatever you want to call that, right? They are in the pre-heaven. That means that they can see the future and they decide the future. If the pre-heaven have not decided yet, it won't happen in this world. Uh, So it goes like this. The world that that is existing before this world, right? They got the... Like they got the time first. So whatever happened there, like it happened and then they make the decision. And then later on, when the energy from that dimension comes to here, right, then here it will happen. Like it will manifest itself into reality. So it's kind of like saying this, okay, the boss of the company have an idea and then he want this and that to, to happen. Well, after his all done and then the board meeting and all that, then they will go to the lower level and then the managers and then the workers. And finally, everyone will know about it. And then at the last stage, the consumer will know about it. So it's kind of like that. The pre-heaven side decide who they want to accept and who they actually feel good about. And at the same time, they also chose and unchose. That means that you can be the chosen one to be a disciple. You can also be unchosen as well. Huh. So it's like saying God choose their disciple. At the same time, they can also unchoose their disciple. So it's kind of like, hmm. Well, does it mean that the God made a bad choice or the God don't know how to make their choice? No, not really like that. It's like a company. Think about it. If you're the boss, right? You have your requirement. So we're hiring, um, let's say we're hiring an accountant. So this this person must be good at accounting, right? At least that's the minimum. So we have requirement. You got to have, you know, maybe like a degree in that. Okay. And then on top of that, we require some other things such as like social skills or you know, he have to be good at this and that. And the personality also matter, right? So we have a bunch of things to uh, put onto the table and say, hey, do you have these? You know, and people come and interview and then we choose. And then we say, oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. So at the end, we chose about 20 people, right? 20 people. And then we select from this group. And eventually, maybe like a few will get hired. But then it doesn't mean that that's it. You know, you, you're chosen, but you can also be fired. You, you got chosen because you have the requirement that like we want. But at the same time, you know what? After you got chosen, you got hired, then you, you decided to like go weird and then not come to work or always late to work. Well, eventually your performance and everything pissed the boss off and they will fire you. That's the unchosen process, right? So you can see, when God or the Tao chose you to become a Taoist, it means that you have a chance already, right? Because you fit the requirement. You have a chance. But it doesn't mean that you must be successful. Are you going to be successful or not? It's up to you, not the God. The God gave you a chance, right? 
And then once you get into the lineage, just like once you get hired in the company, there are rules to follow. Just like you enter a company, they have company policy to follow. <laughs> yeah. So every day, you know, you got to arrive at work on time at maybe eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and then you got to like punch your card and do everything, and you know. Whatever routine they go by, and then at the end of the day, you need to get out at this time and then punch your card and so on, right? Well, you decided to go by your own rule. You don't want to go to work at that time. You know, you don't care about the card punching, and you're like, I don't like how the the company do things, so I'm going to do it my own way. And then, well, eventually, no one likes you, right? And then you get fired. Same to disciples who enter the lineage. You enter the lineage, there go some rules that you have to follow. And then you decided, hmm, I don't want to follow this. I don't want to follow this. This doesn't make sense to me yet. And then, okay, so, <laughs> right? And eventually, you know what? The God won't like you. So the God will unchosen you. And what happened when you're unchosen? Well, let's see what happened when you are the chosen one. Okay, when you are chosen already, like the God have decided about you. Then you will feel you want to ordain. So the moment that you feel you want to ordain, that is the time when the God have told you already that we have chosen you, because the feeling that the God gave you is like the energy that the God flows down will create a feeling in your heart. It touches your heart, and your heart creates the feeling of I want. So I want to ordain. That is the message from the God, saying that you can ordain now. However, if you decided to not ordain yet and then wait, what does that mean? Well, it's like, you know, when you go for an uh, interview and the guy say, "Hey, you're hired. You can come to work tomorrow," and then you decided to wait a bit, maybe come to work, like go to work next week, not tomorrow. Wait a bit, you know. I'm not ready yet. You know, give me some time, and then you drag. Well, eventually the company is like, well, you don't want to come to work, okay? Well, after two weeks, you don't show up. They hire someone else, and you're done. You're gone. You're unchosen, right? So when you have the feeling of, I should ordain. I want to ordain. That means you should right away, immediately take action and not drag. Because why? The more you drag, it's like you you got hired, but you're not going to work. Like oh, sorry, kick the mic again. So, <laughs> so it's like you're not going to work. You're not um, appreciating the offer from the company. Then the company will choose someone else, and eventually, you know what? As you drag, the the god is like, well, you don't really want to ordain. So that's your choice. You made your choice with your action, and then the god is like, oh well, too bad. And then they let go. Then suddenly, after like a few days or two, uh, uh, or weeks, and then you you somehow lose that feeling. It's like the the feeling um, of I really want to ordain, I really want to learn. It's gone. Somehow, it's like kind of fade out. It's like not as strong anymore. Why? It's not because of anything, but because of your own action. You decided to show the God that, uh, well, uh, maybe later, you know, like that. And then, well, the God just. Oh well, you don't want it. Okay, someone else wanted then. Right? You don't want it. No one's forcing you, so they let go, and then you will lose that feeling. So when you have that feeling of like, oh, I really want to ordain, don't wait. Once you start to wait, you're already rejecting the God, and that is not good, right? Okay. So now you understand how the God choose you or other people. When the God have chosen, they will give you that energy, which goes to your heart and makes you feel you want to ordain. So, what happened when the God unchoose a disciple, like they don't want this disciple? What happened? Well, the first thing that happened is they will go and send their energy to this disciple to tell them the message, right? And this message goes in. And then this disciple have the feeling, feeling of what? Well, the first stage is you feel you lose interest. Like eh, I don't really like to do this anymore. You know, you don't feel as bonded anymore. You don't feel the urge or the love or the passion anymore. 
you start to not feel the passion, right? Because the God don't like you anymore. The God don't have passion in you. That's why you feel like so. When the God put their power on you to tell you the message, it first comes in the form of a feeling. So you were okay before. And suddenly you start to feel like everything is like tasteless already. No meaning. Don't want to move on. You know, like that kind of feeling. Like someone just gave up, you know, gave up in whatever, whatever they're doing. That's the feeling. And that is when the God have already unchosen you. What happens if you keep going like that and don't do better to save your butt? Well, actually, what, ha- what should you be doing when that happens? When the God say they've unchosen you, right? It's not like the end of the world because the God have not fired you yet. Okay, it's like you're in the company and then the boss like, I don't like this guy. You know, I'm giving up on him. But you're not being like fired right away. You're still in the lineage, right? So what should you be doing? Saving your own butt. Huh? Yeah. So what, do, what should you be doing? Well, whatever feeling you have, ignore the feeling. Okay? Go and repent. Like, accept and realize and accept what you have been doing is wrong. What you have done wrong. What you think that you have done have caused the God to be disappointed at you. Um, what have you been doing wrong? And how can you judge? Very simple. Okay? As a disciple, you can go back to the basics. Go back to like what we have as our doctrines, right? Like the five virtue, ten commandments, and so on. Go back to these simple virtue lessons and then look at yourself. What have you been doing? As a disciple, how have you been acting? What did I teach you all the time? What have you not been doing all the time? Right? You look at that and you kind of analyze the problem with yourself. And then you go and find the God and find the master, the human, me. And talk about it. You say, oh, I have been like, I know it's bad, but I have been like this and this. And I realized I was not doing the right thing. And I just want to, you know, pick my like kick my own butt and then pick up the stuff again and you know can I have a chance and so on right and once you say that you'll get the help you will get something that will help you to get back on track for example I'll, I'll tell you okay well you should cultivate this and then do this and do this and then well once you start doing it that God knows hey you want to get better right and they will take back their word for unchoosing you they will give you a chance and then suddenly you don't feel as hopeless anymore <laughs> because the God have like lifted their their commands. They lifted their powers. So it's like, okay, now you have a second chance and you don't feel as down and hopeless and dead anymore. Okay, work hard on changing yourself. Keep your word, right? Like don't promise something and then, you know, after two weeks you do the same thing again, right? Keep your word. And once you do that, the God will forgive you and you have a new chance. But some people, they don't care. Like, they just like, oh, you know, just let me go. I, I, I'm i done, you know, like that. Then, well, the God unchose you and you decided to, like, give up. You decided to not save your butt. So it's like the, the boss is like, hey, I want to fire this guy. You know, he's an asshole. And then... You decided to act even more asshole. <laughs> so what's going to happen? Well, the boss eventually hands you the envelope. You know, you're done. You're fired. And that's why you're out, right? You, you don't save your butt. Then the God, I mean the boss or the God will kick you out. And what happened when that happens? When, when the God is like finally handing you the envelope, what, what is going to happen in reality? You will say or you will do something to show that I'm gone. For example, you will disappear from the group, from the chat group. You will want to just hide away. Or you might just like delete the app and don't even go up, like don't even contact again. You pretend disappear, pretend vanish, like vanish. I'm like gone, you know, disappear from this world. Or some people will be like, oh, I'm quitting. You know, they just say it. I'm done here. I'm quitting. 
And then they will do it. They will take action to do it. And that is the time when we can see, oh, the God have like unchosen them completely. That's why they quit. Because no one will quit on their own without the God actually letting them go. When the God don't let go of you, you will not want to quit. Why? Oh, because the God's energy is like a pre-heaven energy. It controls or it can give you the feeling. If the God wants to save you, they put their power on you, it will change your feeling. So even you really want to quit, the God is like pulling you back and not letting that happen. That is not hard to do for the God. So when a disciple actually decided to quit or do anything to quit, it means to me that, hey, the God really did something already. Like the God have actually kicked their butt out. You know, that's why they acted like that. It cannot be without the God doing anything. Right? If they can like give up and quit, it means that the God have lifted their hands and also give them a push so that they will actually do it. If the God wants you here, they won't let that happen. They will always save you. Right? So why wouldn't a God save their chosen disciple? Like the God chosen you, right? The God have chosen you before. Why did the God not try to save you again and again and again uh, until you actually, you know, get better? Well, there's the thing. The God said, okay, the God said, I gave you a chance. I gave you the guidance, gave you the teachings, right? They're like basic teachings right there. Five virtues, ten, ten commandments, all the stuff, virtue stuff, right? It's all laid out there. Everyone who ordained, you have the same amount of time and chance to learn. And you respond to the God with your action. How you act, how you behave is the answer that you're showing the God. Not words. You see, like you can tell the God with your mouth. Like you say it. Oh, I still want a chance. I still believe you. I don't want to give up. You know, you can say it. It doesn't matter. That God don't listen to your words. That God look at your action. How you act and how you behave. How you respond with your body, your physical action. That is what the God takes as the final answer. So some people say, Oh, I'm not giving up. And then they keep doing the same shit. And then pissing the God off, the God is like, well, that's your answer. You answered me already. And that is you want to give up, right? Like, so you want to be trash, then you will be thrown in a trash can. <laughs> so you can see, as a normal person, an ordinary person, if you come by and you feel the urge or the fire, the spark in your heart that... I want to ordain. That means that God have chosen you and gave you the message that, hey, I chose you to, my to be my disciple. That God gave you a chance because that God liked you. That God approved you to go there and learn. So you should respond to the God with your action as well. Right? Go ordain right away. Get in contact right away. Right? Don't miss out the opportunity. If you have a chance, if the God chose you, right? make use of that opportunity and treasure it. Cherish it. Don't give up. Okay, New Year, Chinese New Year is coming up soon, January 22nd. So everyone prepared and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.